Hey guys, um, so it's been a while since my last post, uh, I still haven't got used to talking to the computer. I've actually taken like about well, seven or eight takes before this, um, I was gonna try to make it a, well it's gonna be a straight shot, it's just gonna be one video, I haven't been able to get accustomed to editing yet, but I'll do it tomorrow, so hopefully my next, uh, video will be a little better, even though I know there's not a lot of, uh, people viewing right now. Um, but I'm just gonna try to touch base on what I was talking about last time, even though it was in April. Um, the Toronto Blue Jays, they've been playing exceptionally well. Uh, well, not exceptionally well, but 9-5 and five this season. Uh, sorry, this month in August. Uh, beating the Yankees and sweeping the Tampa Bay Rays in three games. Um, now, in a blog, I already talked about that. Uh, but a few things I just want to catch up on. Uh, Ricky Romero signing a five-year, $30.1 million deal. It keeps him in Toronto until 2015 with an exercisable option for the club in 2016. So hopefully if he grows into success, hopefully the Jays will exercise that option. Um, but Sean Markham, the one pitcher of the Jays after Brendan Morrow pitched the eight and two thirds no hitter, inning no, uh, eight and two thirds inning no hitter, uh, basically the only Jays pitcher, starting pitcher who hasn't been flourishing as of late is Sean Markham. And he kind of ended that uh, Monday night actually when uh, they beat, well, the Toronto Blue Jays beat Oakland 3-1. Um, he went six innings with giving up no hits, and the only hit he gave the whole game was a seventh inning leadoff homer to Connor Jackson. Uh, but the Jays hit three runs in enough to give him the win, uh, and they improved to 63-55 on the year. Uh, one thing to touch on, I talked in my blog, was uh, hand signals, um, hand gestures. The use of M the MLB implementing video replay, um, I'm kind of against it, even though I know, even such in this case, because, well, first off, Jose Batista hit a inside-the-park home run, which left fielder Connor Jackson didn't realize was a home run. Uh, well, he knew it wasn't a home run. He hit the pole, and therefore was foul, but third base umpire Tim, I can't remember his name, uh, sorry, my blog has the name, but uh, he called it fair so left fielder Connor Jackson left the ball to be played by third baseman um, and by the time they got there Jose Batista who isn't the fastest guy had already ran into the whole bases and came in for his league leading 37th home run of the year um, so and that was only a single shot but in the take that away uh, and had video replay being implemented um, that wouldn't have counted and it would have been a two to one game and things might have been different um, I just realized I have a lot of bowling trophies up there and they're really shiny. Uh, so, I think video replay takes away from the originality of the game. Um, but so does steroids. And, I mean, Major League really doesn't agree with me on steroids. So I'm not going to agree with me on uh, video replay, but I'm just a kid. <sighs> My voice isn't hurt. Anyways, um, I just believe that anyone who uses steroids should have, like, there shouldn't be such thing as an asterisk. They should just be wiped out of the uh, Hall of Fame to begin with. Um, I also want to, like, a touch base. Video instant replay. I'm trying to think here. Just give me a second. Uh, instant replay is the main thing. Um, the take away version of the game. I want the umpires to be kind of control the game. And I know they blew the call this time, and it can save a lot of uh, games. But, for example, in this case, even if it was 2 to 1, I mean, Sean Markin pitched amazing. And I don't think that 2-1, 1-0, 3-1, 5-1. -1. I think Markham had that mentality the whole game. He was just cruising. But don't get me wrong, I know there are games, and crucial games too, that can be decided by a video replay. Um, I just don't like the whole idea of it. But um, I heard on, uh, was it part of the interruption, PTI, that they were talking about if they were, were to implement it, they suggested that it should be something like the NFL, where you can only challenge three times. If the first two were wrong, you don't get your third challenge, and if it lasts more than five minutes, there's a penalty. Um, it would, I guess it would help, but in since I don't like it for some reason, I don't know. Anyways, I'm going to review this, check this out, and see if it's good, and, uh, just, yeah, give me comments, and tell me what I can do better. I know this is not great, but I'm going to try to improve, and, uh, check out the blog. I will leave a link in the box thingamajig down there, and, uh, thanks. Take care, guys.